Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And man, we got some news coming from the Indiana Pacers. And so they've been working quietly behind the scenes, you know, but they were able to get a deal done. And this deal is worth four years, $29 million. Now we all know when it comes to contracts and stuff, especially for coaches, the odds of you actually finishing that, especially if you go into a team that doesn't already have superstars in place, you know, we'll see how that works out. But I mean, clearly, you know, Carlisle, he certainly is finding an opportunity in which he's familiar with the Pacers organization. And that probably played a huge role in him going to the Pacers. He knew they had an opening. And so it's probably something that he wanted to go back to and give it another run. Um, as he was a head coach with the Indiana Pacers in the past, um, dating back to his time um, and from 2003-2004 season all the way through the 2006-2007 season before he ended up going to the Dallas Mavericks in which he spent 13 seasons with the Dallas Mavericks and won an NBA championship back in the 2010-2011 NBA season, you know, led by Dirk Nowitzki and company. But with that being said, though, he's been a tremendous, you know, coach. His record with the Dallas Mavericks in those 13 seasons, he's got 1,033 wins to 555 losses. In his four years with the Indiana Pacers as their head coach, he has 328 wins and 181 losses with them. And so with his first opportunity in Indiana, came back in the 1997-1998 NBA season when he was the assistant that year. And during that time, he was, you know, the top assistant to Larry Bird early in his coaching career with the Indiana Pacers. And so certainly that connection there. Um, just with the organization, he's continued to find, you know, he went back there again for his second stint there as a coach. And this time it'll be his third stint with the team. So maybe three times a charm that we will see. But he's been an assistant coach, you know, leading back to the 1989-1990 season where he first came in with the New Jersey Nets. And so he's been with them ever since then up until 1993-1994 season. And he spent two, he spent actually three years in Portland um, from 1994, 1995 to 1996, 1997, prior to him taking the Indiana role as an assistant, which would be his final job as an assistant before becoming a head coach. So certainly this is a great opportunity here. The team, they had plans to, you know, start interviewing several candidates in Chicago this week. But obviously, you know, Carlisle, he was their first choice. And so, um, yeah, they, they reached a deal. And so that is absolutely fantastic for him. And so you had to know when he was leaving the Dallas Mavericks that there was going to be, you know, a job lined up for him um, if that was what he desired to do. Now, his reason for leaving the Mavericks, that remains to be seen, you know, um, I mean, because they have a pretty good team in place. So that tells me that there's probably something brewing that we don't know at this moment. Maybe potentially we find out even more that's going on with the Dallas Mavericks. But, you know, Luke is certainly someone that we're going to be looking at in terms of, you know, what role did he play in this decision? Um, you know, but with that being said, though, I'm excited to see what Rick's got in store for the Pacers and hope that he can help turn this team into, um, you know, a more consistent winning team. And, we'll, and you've got to be excited if you're a Pacers fan. This is absolutely great news and looking forward to seeing what type of offseason they're going to have. But with all that being said, though, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, you know, as more news continues to unfold, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.